Hello everyone. In this topic, we'll discuss about shared responsibility model. Shared responsibility is what responsibility lies with the service provider who is providing the cloud services and the responsibility of the end user who is consuming the cloud services. So whenever we are dealing with on-prem environment, we know that the company is responsible for maintaining the physical space. So this is nothing but the data center itself. In the data center, the company is responsible for power, cooling, cable, so cabling and all the connections. And also the company is responsible for ensuring the security. So this includes end-to-end -end security. So end-to-end -end security includes physical security, network security and the data security itself. So company is responsible for all this security. And also if there is any hardware issues, company is responsible for replacing those hardware. They need to have proper inventory of all the hardware devices in the infrastructure and they need to have contract with third party vendor. So this is to maintain the hardware devices. And the IT department is responsible for maintaining all the infrastructure related hardware and software needed to keep the data center up and running. So this was related to our on-prem environment. Let us look into Azure Cloud. Whenever we are deploying any resources on the Azure Cloud, we are basically operating in a shared responsibility model. The responsibility gets shared between the cloud provider and the consumer. Physical security, power, cooling and network connectivity are responsibility of the cloud provider. There are some of the areas for which the consumer is responsible. Let us see what are the areas for which consumer is responsible. This picture basically shows what is the responsibility of the customer and what is the responsibility of the cloud service provider. So we know that whenever we are dealing with on-prem environment, it is end-to-end -end responsibility of the customer. So on-prem, end-to-end responsibility is of customers or the organization. When it comes to infrastructure as a service, there are three areas for which Microsoft is responsible, which is cloud service provider responsibility. And from operating system onwards, this is the area customer is responsible because whenever we are creating a virtual machine, so infrastructure as a service is virtual machine, we choose the image and we deploy the operating system. Maintaining the virtual machine, patching with security packs and updates. So everything is customer responsibility and also the backup part. So for these, customer is responsible from operating system onwards. For platform as a service, there are some areas for which Microsoft and the customer both are responsible, which includes network controls, applications, identity and directory infrastructure. And these are responsibility of the cloud service provider, which includes operating system, physical host, physical network and data center. So anything which you see physical is always responsibility of the cloud service provider because the end user is not going to host any physical devices into the cloud infrastructure. So it is all maintained and managed by the cloud service provider itself. And when it comes to software as a service, information and data devices, the devices which you use to access the software as a service applications and the accounts and identities, all these are all comes under customer responsibility. And there is one area, identity and directory service infrastructure, 
this is shared responsibility which is cloud service provider and the customer and everything below this it will be cloud service provider from application to physical data center when you use any cloud service provider you will be always responsible for the data what you are storing and the devices whatever you are using to access the data and applications and the access whichever you are granting for the users and groups so for all these the customer will be responsible and the cloud provider is always responsible for the physical data center physical network and physical hosts and the service model whatever you are using it determine the responsibility for operating system network controls applications identity and infrastructure so basically whenever you use infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service so these service determine the responsibility of all these areas so this was an overview about shared responsibility model thank you for watching the video if you like the content please subscribe and share the video thank you and take care